I felt like it was a very contemporary story. It was inspiring. And yet, of course, you know, we, we all know it happened. Yet a lot of details were, you know, just would enhance the drama. There were so many examples of really courageous acts of heroism that didn't make the headlines. And I, I felt that it, on top of everything else, it was, it was offering a great acting opportunity. There's nothing like giving great actors this kind of drama to work with that allows audiences to really feel what it might have been like to be around this event, to live through it, to be a part of it. I'm Joel Edgerton. Uh, I, I play Dr. Harry Harris, uh, who is brought in to participate in the rescue of the boys as a rescue diver. Uh, and, and unbeknownst to him, is also asked to bring his medical expertise uh, to become part of the really specific mechanics of the rescue. I'm uh, James Chiradon Subopan Pinyo. Uh, I play as a coach who um, uh, take care of all of the boy when uh, they stuck in the cave. And then um, when they stuck in the cave, the coach teach the boy how to meditate so um, they, they, they can survive. I'm Vigo Mortensen and I play Rick Stanton, one of the two UK divers. Uh, the two guys, John Valanthan and Rick Stanton, my character, they came, <clears throat> where they were called to come in to, in the early stages to try to rescue and then brought in their most trusted uh, colleagues, one being <clears throat> Dr. Harris and Jason Mallinson and some of the others to figure out how to, if there was any way to get to get to these kids, to find them, first of all, whether they're alive or not. They expected them to be dead. Uh, and then after that, if they could find them, how could they get them out? I play uh, John Valanthan, who was one of the divers that was incredibly instrumental in swimming the children to safety um, in 2018. You know, I spent hours FaceTiming with him and he was open to all my questions and shared with me his first-hand account of course of what went on in 2018 during the cave rescue and um and also his life in general you know so it was an incredible thing to be part of this story and the story that was really about the coming together of all these cultures particularly starting with the Thai people and the beauty and the richness and the faith and the strength of the Thai people as a, such a spirited people and then how everyone else descended upon uh, Thailand for that period of time to rescue these boys. It was just, it was just a really gorgeous, heartening story to be, to be close to, to be a part of. You know, I play Chris Jewell, um, who was one of the divers that once um, Rick and John had found the boys in the cave, they realised that if they were going to get these boys out, they were going to need some more experienced cave divers, and that's when they they called in Chris Jewell, uh, Doctor Harry's, and um, uh, and Jason. Um, so we're the sort of we're the uh, with a support team that came in. I play Governor Narosa uh, of the province where this, this this cave rescue took place, which is Chiang Rai, way up north of Thailand. Uh, I love playing him. and But then to see him just be a, I don't want to say punching bag, but uh, <laughs> may, maybe, maybe he had to take it from all sides. And, uh, and he took a beating and I think he came out smiling. This kind of story is, is really enhanced by authenticity and, and detail. And so many of these situations are just, you know, the reality of it is even stranger, more stressful, more specific and odd and, un, and, and, and sort of surprising than, any, than anyone who, who was there trying to be creative and, and, and sort of fictionalizing it could ever come up with. So they, they, were, they were there for that purpose, but also for safety, because cave diving is a very particular thing. And even though these are sets, uh, our actors needed to learn how to dive in caves. And I thought they would maybe do half of their diving, but they became so expert at it, they wound up doing 100% of it, which gave me so much latitude to be able to develop shots and, and, in, you know, and let them move into close-ups uh, and, and be very fluid it helped build the sort of tension and um, and suspense. And you recognize that, you know, these these people are really in there. That only only enhances uh, the authenticity and 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 along with it, 
the tension, the excitement, and the suspense. I, in the past, had done uh, like two scuba dives in my life on the holidays. And mm -hmm. there I was uh, being asked to sort of go and get my paddy license and, and start the process of being really incredibly well looked after by this team of stunt divers and ex-Navy divers and uh, salvage operation divers and, and the real, some of the real cave rescue divers, you know, which, which meant that, you know, this idea of basic scuba diving was then fast tracked to zero visibility, <laughs> diving through like really kind of tight pinch points and obstacle courses underwater and these incredibly elaborate, you know, Current true to life you. with currents and then extra equipment and then add to that diving with a human being so that we could you know simulate the execution of, of, the, of the rescue and then add to that sometimes because it's a movie <laughs> strapping certain camera equipment mm. to yourself incredible honor as an actor to take on a new skill and to be invited to mm. to be embraced by professionals to even get a glimpse of what they can do. If anything, the whole process has given me an even greater respect for the guys that did this and that do it for real, those men and women out there that do cave rescue diving. It's like massive respect. I'm, I love collaboration. I love to collaborate. I, love, I, I enjoy it with actors. I enjoy it with key crew members. And I was so looking forward to the collaboration with uh, Thai talent in this case, and they did not let me down. I, I was I, I I I enjoyed it. They enriched the movie. Uh, I felt like that it's a story set in Thailand, but it's also a Thai story. I just wanted as, as many as many voices as possible to just be looking at the movie, the way these scenes were unfolding, and uh, you know, and if they saw something wrong, you know, help help me figure out how to correct it. One of the things that Ron and I discussed was really to try to get the interpersonal dynamics correct in Thai culture as well. And sometimes, you know, like one of the things I love is that Ron is very open minded. So when I suggested, well, you know, we need uh, the governor to have an assistant because he can't say certain direct things to the Navy SEALs, for example. So he needs somebody in between. So that's why uh, the actress Natvara came in to basically portray the the uh, the assistant. And it's just tiny little details of cultural significance like this. And it, I was so happy that Ron was very open to it. And she, he was like, yes, that makes sense. You know, and I think that, you know, how we go about it, which is that, you know, we want to make sure that even small little things like who are allowed to talk to each other is portrayed in a way that the ties will say, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. That's the way it should be. It was a dream to work with Ron. And I, I've, I, you know, as a fan of film, I've loved Ron's work since I was a kid. Going back to Splash and Cocoon, which I just showed my 12 year old last week. He's sneaky, Ron. His films are so full of heart, whether they're, whether they're pieces of fiction, dramatizations of memories, like Parenthood. I think Parenthood is just one of the great American films. And so to do this and to do a story that was as beautiful as this and was about so much of the best of human beings, so much of how we are capable of really living the most beautiful lives that we can live if we were just taking a moment to be considerate and, and respect our differences while also kind of appraising and, and acknowledging and stepping into the things that make us the same. In this case, our care for children, you know, the future of our civilization, the future of our world, whether they're Thai children or British children or Irish children or American. And, and I think that was the thing that brought the world together as well was that it was so clear. It was so clear that the 13 people that were trapped in the cave were innocents. It was so clear that they were all innocent, that the only thing they were victims of were maybe was a bad decision and an early monsoon reason, uh, season arriving. So, so yeah, so to, to work with Ron on this, I mean, look, he's a documentarian as well, you know, so to, for him to come on board and tell this story, which was always going to have kind of an, you know, a, a narrative construct, of course, but he wanted to make it as, as cinema verite as he could and get in there. And he was always on the set, moving around, looking for the angles and looking for how to get to the center of the, the story he was telling. He's just extraordinarily uh, decent as well and fair and is interested in everyone and wants to make sure that everyone was respected and everyone had their moment. He doesn't believe in the star system or status or any of that shit. The, the set was an incredibly egalitarian environment and that was 
Gorgeous. I'm a big fan of that stuff. So that was cool to be around. And directing is a high pressure job, especially a big story like this. And you can lose your temper very easily. You can get impatient. You're not getting enough rest. A million questions a day from all kinds of people. He was so calm. And having been an actor, uh, he's a very good actor's director. So he was very good at explaining, adapting to each actor what they needed, whether it was you, you, me, anybody else. And also the way he spoke with his crew. I mean, there was not a, a set with all the pressure we had. There was no shouting. There was no complaining. Everybody just got on with it. Part of it was because we had to live up to the example that the real rescuers had set. And you're not going to complain, oh, my coffee's not warm enough or something like that. You know, you're not going to complain about little things like that. And the other was Ron, the example he set about you know, this can-do attitude. I will listen to everybody's opinion. I will make the final decisions, but this is a collaborative exercise. So I loved that. And I liked, I liked learning what Joel's talking about, this new skill. You know, I had been certified years ago and just done it once you know, 25 years ago. So I had to get recertified and also step it up. We had to go into these caves and, you know, visibility problems and, and you know, transporting real human beings eventually. It just felt like a lot of pressure. So I think, you know, I tend to be focused and detail oriented as an actor preparing and shooting anyway, because I'm always conscious of the fact that you got one crack at it to tell this story or shoot this scene today. But in this case, it wasn't just I want to get it right and I don't want to make a fool of myself. I want to contribute to the overall filmmaking effort. It's I also want to survive, literally. <laughs> so I'm paying a lot of attention to Rick Stanton and the other, you know, the safety divers, the people, the experts. It's like, how do we put the equipment on, make sure it's working properly before going under? And when you're under there, do exactly what they told you to do. Copy exactly what they're doing. Otherwise, you're not going to get out of there. The, the training that we did, it was pretty intense. It was fast because, you know, we had to shoot the movie and we didn't have time to cram in 40 years of experience that these guys have. We had an amazing team around us. They threw us right in at the deep end. Forgive that pun. And we just went with it, man. I think it was one of those things where we were aware of the size and scope and beauty of this story and effectively just submitting to it and just trusting in the fact that we had Ron at the helm, amazing people in every single department and just saying, great, I get to be part of this. I hope that the audience goes into the film, whatever they know about the story, and gets lost in the human side of it. I, I, I hope that they they recognize, uh, you know, that 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 this story unfolded in different ways for different for different people, and and I, I hope they lose themselves in that, and through that, actually create um, a kind of a an, another level of engagement, gain you know, a real sense of, of emotional suspense and, and uh, that they're, they're not only sort of engaged by the, um, the heart and the mind, but that the, the nervous system gets involved as well. <laughs> and that they, you know, really get caught up in the story in, in that way, because it's a it kind of movie that transports you, uh, not only in terms of the environment, but also emotionally. We have food. Oh, come on. Hi, John. Good to see you. 